All right, let's get into this. So once you have your Meshroom downloaded, just double click it, it will open. It's gonna take a few seconds. This is like the third time I opened it, try to do this video. Um, it's gonna open up those two screens. One here is just gonna basically the text and uh, uh, non-GUI, what's going on in the background. This is Meshroom. This is your 3D viewer, image viewer. These are where your images go. Graphic editor is down here. Uh, basically the nodes. Um, I don't change anything. Uh, the only thing I changed before was the texture, um, depending on the size. And here, if you hold your middle mouse button, it'll pan this ground plane. plane. <laughs> and it, this will rotate it. Uh, your left mouse button will rotate it. R left mouse button will rotate it. Uh, right mouse button will give you fit all and reset view. Uh, these are your settings for your node things. So you can make them bigger, smaller. You'll see that once this loads, you'll see all this here. We'll talk about that. All right, uh, before we get all stupidfied, let's just load our images. So I have these images here. I already selected these. I'm just gonna drag and drop these right into here. You can use this folder if you want to import them, but uh, I'm not me. So I'm gonna go file and then we're gonna save as dumpster save. Yes, we're going to save that. I've done this once. Um, this will be the second time I've tried to do this without messing up on the video. So I already hit start once, as you can see. Camera data is already initialized, is already going to feature extraction. So once you have saved your project, before you hit the start button, just then you can hit start. And it's just going to go all the way down these nodes. Once it finishes, we'll be back with the second part. All right, once it is done, you'll see all these are green and you'll get this load model. These are all your point clouds, your camera data there, where it's all the positions of your camera. And for some reason, when it loads, it's always upside down. So still to this day, I don't know why, but whatever. So this will be your fully textured. This will be your wireframe and solid once this is loaded. These are your point clouds, your density. You can make it bigger and up. Uh, it doesn't really matter for right now because it doesn't do anything, but just getting it out of your way if you want to, when you load the model. These are your camera, make them bigger uh, for your lines. Origin, that's the which way it's going. Gizmo is a rotating object there. Uh, the, the data for the X, Y, and Z. Grid floor, and yeah. So we're going to hit the load. While that is loading, it'll take a, like, depending on your hardware, I guess, a little bit longer. Mine always takes a little bit of time. But, yeah. And you can move this shit around if you want. There we go. It is loaded. And we're going to get rid of the point cloud so we can just see our model. And we're going to get rid of the camera. So that is it. It's loaded in there. And it actually does a really good job, even though it's these crappy photos that we did just take um, it does make a, a hefty size model as you can see here look at all those triangles uh, I think it's over 30 40,000 uh, polygons so I do decimate it when I import it into a uh, program so yeah as you can see the quality is not that great um, but if you can take better pictures uh, take your time it will it will actually will work really well uh, this wouldn't be too bad for like far away you know, if you did a depth of field, uh, really good with that. What we'll do is we'll import it into Blender on the next video, and we'll do a little see what we can do with this crappy model. So everything has been saved. Um, most of the time, from my experience, uh, and I probably said this once, but depth depth map and meshing always seems to take the longest. Um, you definitely uh, need an NVIDIA card with this. Uh, works really well. I think I got a uh, seven something or 790 or something like that and it, it, it does really well for a free program you uh, definitely cannot beat what this does for you so i hope i did not ramble too much and i hope it kind of answered your questions and stuff like that but uh yeah we'll do a, like a, another video here the next video will be with blender uh and how to import this that'll be my next video and after that i will do like a pro tip even though i'm not a pro so we'll do like a little tips and trick thing on how to make it run a little bit faster how to take really good photos and all that stuff 
All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.